Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest card to GTA Online's drip feed which is the Emperor Vector. Now this is based off of the Lexus RCF and if you do want to go ahead and buy the car it is on Legendary Motorsport and it's going to set you back about 1.8 million without the trade price and if you have it unlocked it's going to cost you about 1.3 million. So in this video I'm going to be customizing the car, I'll show you my personal build for the thing while running you through the customization options and then as well I'm going to take it out on the road so you can see how it handles performance wise. If you do go on to enjoy this video please do go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and if you're interested in uh, content just like this, other GTA automotive content and car builds, uh, maybe go check out some of the other content I have on the channel that might be something you like. But all that being said, let's get into it. I must say that is a very nice startup engine sound. I'm really, really liking the them from a lot of the new cars lately. So this is in the sports class, and uh, first things first, we're going to do up all the performance upgrades as normal. Just get them straight out of the way. Uh, I doubt I'm going to make it a drift build, so let's put bulletproof tires on it. I'm not sure the exact kind of build I want to go for yet. I'm probably going to go with like a little street build. Oh my days, this thing is low. Okay. Right. Nah, this is crazy. That is some stance. I might go with that just for the memes, but that is mad. Alright, I'm gonna go with the sport suspension for now. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm loving that. That's super slammed. Right, uh, I think I've done all the main customers uh, performance options though. Let's take it from the top. Uh, right, so we've gone over the brakes, all of that. Right, bumpers. Uh, right, so we got the secondary one, got the arc bumper, secondary one, the rally bumper. Mm, performance track. I don't know about these. To be fair, I'm kind. I'm kind of feeling a mix between the performance and the stock one. I'm. I'm kind of liking this a bit more because it looks a bit more realistic. So I can stick with this for now. Let's take a look at the back. So we got. Okay, we got a little bit of a diffuser going on there on the street one. Really aggressive. Some mad designs. Hmm. I I'm not hundred percent. I'm not really liking these ones too much. Uh I mean the skid one's kinda nice. If I go for more of like a track build maybe, but I might be boring and leave the, the rear end stock at least for now. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll see we'll have to see how it goes. I'm gonna go with that chrome mm. intake though. Ooh, let's do up the rail covers now. Let's go with yeah. We've got the racer ones. Get a nice strut brace in there. Polished the extreme billet one. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, I knew I forgot something. Engine tunes. Max that out. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. I'm trying to pin. I, this sounds very familiar. I can't pinpoint the exact car it seems like, but it has a. Unique startup sound, but I think the engine sounds just uh, nicked from another car. I can't quite pinpoint what car it's from. I'll either catch up with it later and it, it'll pop in my head, or I don't know. One of you lot tell me down below if you know what engine that, uh, sound that's from. Uh, these slash cut ones are nice. Let's take a look at the fenders. So you got the stock ones here. You got these kind of flared out wide body. You know what? This is not a terrible job for a wide body on Rockstar's end for once. I mean, of course, the fitment isn't adjusted a ton, but, I mean, you, you can't do that in this game for whatever reason, but not bad. I'm still boring, so I'm going to keep it looking stuck. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We need to, I need to, I need to figure out what I want to do with this. Because I want to, I want to take a look through the customization options and kind of make it up as I go along. Like, I'll pick out the parts I like, and then the build itself will just kind of show out, like, what I want to go with. But I'm, I'm way too picky. Alright, if you know me, I spend... I like that vented one. I don't know. I'll, I'll go ahead, and I'll have maybe an idea in my mind, or I'll have no idea. Make something, and then five seconds later, I'll be like, you know what, this is awful. I'm changing everything. But, oh, let's take a look at the liveries, actually. Stripes. Let's... Orange one is not bad. Ooh, okay. This kind of remind me of the Porsche ones. Uh, 
katana. <laughs> Stance Andreas. And, okay. Right, if I go for more of a, a street build, once I decide... I think it's the color that's mainly putting me off, to be fair. I don't know if it's just me, but it is... I might go with yellow on this car, actually, but... Um, I don't know about you, but the pink puts me off. It's like... I need... I, I want to go with, like, a clean white or something, just so I can see everything properly. It's just me being weird, but I'm going to go with white, just so I can see everything a little better. If I see it in a color I like a bit more, it'll probably pop out a bit more to me, the parts. Right, let me go over back to livery. This does not look that bad. The katana ones, pretty cool too. The stripes. Man, this is a hard choice. There's a lot of customization on this car, but uh, maybe a bit too much for me being so picky. <laughs> All right. Loki tempted to go with a straight up just really slammed just street build at this point. I think that's my what I might go with. Not okay. Can I remove that at all? Uh, not a fan of that. Uh, okay, the ridge line ones do not look that bad. I might I'm gonna go with that one. Scuts, see. All right, bit, bit aggressive. Kind of like this painted speed ones. Ooh. So there's that. On stock. If I go with right, I want to see how this the speed ones look with that wide body in a minute. Ah, there we go. You got a bit of a nicer splitter kind of thing going on here. Okay, good. Because those front bumpers were. Hmm. I don't know. I'll go with a little something like that, maybe the racer spell. Let's see. Take a look at these spoilers, though. Kind of like a little duck tail the whole way down. This kind of stuff. Yeah, this. I don't know about you, but this spoiler looks a bit more fitting for like a Toyota. I don't know about about this, but. Not this kind of car. Nice. Okay, I definitely go with that if I went for like a race. Actually, I might go with a. I don't know if I should go with a street or a race build because I'm pretty sure they use these cars for Group Four racing. Hmm. That is. So a race, man. I have street builds constantly. You know what? Let's go with the racing one. I always go with, like, 90% of the time I just do street builds. So obviously I can't do. Super slam like that if it's a race build. Um, it's not, yeah. Let's go with this. I think it's supposed to be the lower the suspension, the, the there's more grip with the new cars, but I think this looks a bit more appropriate. For, um, the cat, I'm tripping over the tiniest little thing. I'll keep it like this high. All right, wheels. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not close to finished. I need to go back and adjust a lot of stuff if I'm going for the, a race kind of build. Um. Right. Let's, nah. Right. Done that. Done that. Done that. Right. Let's take a look at the front bumper now. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. I've changed my mind. That this looks. That looks hideous. <laughs> it looks. It looks. It looks sad. You know, I, I I don't know. It looks like a sad animal. I don't know what 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 exactly it is, but it does not look happy. So we'll keep it as is, like that. Rear bumper. We'll go with that. Yeah, I'm liking that. Keep the front bumper as is. Those. I'm gonna go with those titanium exhausts. That is not the worst looking white body. I might go with that. Nah, the car's already kind of wide. Iridescence look very pretty, but uh, depending on the color. Let's go with some... Uh, I'm not a fan of racing pins. Uh, well, hood pins, I mean. Alright, interior. Let's go with the carbon, since it's a race build. Got to have everything lightweight, so... The weave panels. 
up in some of the... Oh, wait, hold on. Are these... I think these are some new designs. A couple of them. Right. Yeah, let's pop in... I don't know about you guys, but I think it would be cool if you only had the racing seat as the one you sit in and the rest of them were stuck. Like how some people do with their project cars, but I don't know, maybe I'm just too analytical. No, I don't, I don't know, too picky. Uh, right, let's take a look at these steering wheels. Um, Let's go with the Clubman steering wheel. Gotta have that roll. Ca oh my days, that's big. Right. Yeah, the padded full roll, roll cage. I'm gonna roll with that. Keep the light color as is. No Leon livery. Right. If we're going for a race build, I might go with some uh, branding, some sponsors. Would make sense, seeing as it is a race car. I'm going for. So we have the. Stan Andreas one. It's not really racing. You got stripes. It's kind of boring. The speed orange isn't bad. What's that? Black and orange. And you got the wig one ones. Are these black and yellow isn't a terrible combo. I want to see how that looks in yellow or something. Right. Also, let me change the plate. Right, those side skirts now, I liked them before, but I think if I'm going to fit with the rest of the car, I'm going to have to have this, yeah, these, these ones, oh wait, hold on, one of the ones with the little, like, color lip around it, yeah, the GT ones, there we are, yeah, that kind of fits, yeah, let's go with them, Sunstrip, yeah, let's go with one. Never really use them all that much. Okay, got me that, got that. This does not look terrible in yellow. Right, what if I made the main color black? E maybe not. And the secondary. I don't like how the hood is like that. Maybe that's just the option I picked, but. Actually, maybe a different color would be better fitting. Maybe orange. And let's go with the metallic this time rather than a classic. I reckon like an orangey color might look good with this. I'm not sure about the livery at this point, but we see, we'll see. Orange, bright orange. Alright, I'll go with orange, orange, and then I might change up the livery. I'm not, I'm not feeling it anymore. Yeah, let's go with that, and then, I don't know, people, let me know what your thoughts are on all this. Am I wrong in this being a Group 4 car, and, and so, I, I swear I could have, this is used in Group 4 sometimes, the RCF, who knows. Ooh, you know what, orange and black. Okay, so we got the... I'm a fan of that. Yeah, let's go with that, right. Quick thing, I want to change the... Yeah, let's not have that. Accent color. White trim. Orange trim might be interesting. Or black. So go with black for now. And then... What if it's orange? Yeah, no, black looks better. Go with that. Roof accessories. Let's see what else we got. Don't really need any of that. Right, at this point I feel like I only need to change the maybe the palescent and then the wheels and then I think that's the build sorted. I don't know guys. Going for something a little bit different today. I don't do a ton of race builds with these new cars, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm even feeling this palescent at all. Does it look in black? If we go like a classic orange.
Uh, the silver gives it a nice like little tinge. I mean, I'm not trying to waste time and spend too long on like, picking a color, but I am a bit too picky for this. Yeah, this doesn't look bad. Right, I think now we just got to pick the wheels that will complete the race build, and then should be good. Let's take a look at what's up for offer. I'm not even going to lie to you, these are really nice. I've not considered using these yet, and, and these too. But these stovetop rims, they might be the play. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking of using the new track rims. Because uh, why not? I've got to represent them. They are part of this update after all. Turbo fans. <laughs> Ice Storm. These look very Lexus-y. If that makes any sense, I'm liking that. Turbine rims. And then... See, I like these rims a lot, but the thing is, is I use them on everything, so that's just going to be boring. I reckon maybe... Out of these two, probably the, the mesh, maybe? And then put them in black. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, have we got... Uh, let's not do tire layering. Tire smoke doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to run through the street category real quick to see if there's anything a little bit better maybe. I'm kind of happy with what I got though. Ooh. Actually. Man, this is hard. You know what? I think I want to I want to check the wheel one last time, the other one, see how that looks. If that's a no, I'm gonna st stay with what I got. I reckon that does not look bad. But neither do most of these. <laughs> ah, this is hard. Why am I so picky? You know, I'm just gonna, for the sake of it, save everyone's sanity here. I'm just gonna pick these. So, I guess that's gonna be the build. Let me know your thoughts on it. Went for a bit of a race build on that one. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But anyways, let's take it outside. I'll show you how it handles on the road. What do you got on the outside? show you the difference between it uh, up normal and slammed so we got lowered looking pretty nice this could definitely also be nice as a street build I'm telling you but I don't know a race build really just crept on up on me today but yeah give you a quick sound of it sounds pretty nice We've got some decent weather so we'll be able to test this alright so yeah let's go see how it is alright I'm going to try and get a mix of uh, different areas in there so we can get the speed, get the cornering all down. Take a look at it. The speed is not looking too bad. Acceleration is seems kind of average. You know, it's not quite got like the kick of the Coleco or something, but it does not handle quite bad. It does not handle that bad. I reckon it's a bit more on the understeery side, but it is quite nice. This could be pretty good for racing. I'm able to carry quite a bit of speed for these corners. I mean, it is not bad. It doesn't really want to kick the back end out very much. It's got pretty decent control. I'm liking this so far. This could be I reckon this could be pretty good around a truck. I'd say at least from my very very limited testing of it. I reckon main speed is fine. Acceleration is maybe just a bit average, nothing too special. Um but handling seems pretty good. I'd say I'm hoping maybe around a track this would be pretty good. I mean I got no. I doubt this would be able to really be on the on par with like what the Pariah and that, as is with most of the sport cars lumped into the sports class. But I don't know. 
Handling wise, this is not this is not bad. Yeah, I'm firing through these corners, no problem. But with me fearing that the video is gonna drag on for too long, I reckon I'm gonna end it off there. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's been my build for the car. Let me know what you thought of that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Overall, my thoughts on the car, it's pretty nice looking, a lot of customization, I'm really a fan of it, and as well, very decent handling and pretty good speed as well, it's not bad. So, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you all have a wonderful day.